been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. My dear brothers and sisters, there's a story told by about a teacher who asked a lazy student, what's the difference between innocence and indifference? So the student grudgingly answered, I don't know and I don't care. And to the student's surprise, the teacher said, correct. My dear friends, today we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord. In today's gospel, Jesus, the risen Lord, called his disciples to the mountain and then sent them to make them disciples of all nations. At the Lord's ascension, his disciples already knew who they were, their identity, and already cared to do his will, their mission, after 40 days of preparing them for this transition. So my brothers and sisters, we cannot be his true disciples unless and until we know who we are and do our mission for the Lord. With all the events happening in our world today, let us be vigilant and let us get involved. Now is not the time to be unaware, to be innocent, that as if nothing is happening around us. Not, it's not the time to be uncaring, to be indifferent with one another. Remember, Christian is our name, and love is our calling. In Catechism, we learn that God created us in order to know Him, to love Him, and to serve Him. It amazes me, no end, how some people can be so full of vanity, greed, and pride. May we not be filled with regret someday when we realize that our life was all about I, me, and myself, and that God was nowhere inside, inside and outside us. The reason many of us never take off in our journey to God's heart is that many of us are full of ourselves and are laden with burdens and baggages. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to let go and let God. We have to travel light and know again who we are and who God is. We have to set aside our own agenda and ask again, what is God's agenda for me, for you, and for all of us? Then, and only then, that we can ascend and defy earthly gravity. It's possible by God's grace if we take the road of service and humility. Father Patrick, Peyton, who had a deep love and devotion to our Blessed Mother and who is known as the Rosary Priest for spreading the importance of the Rosary worldwide with his famous words. He said, the family that prays together stays together. A world at prayer 
is a world at peace. It is prayer that sets us free and helps towards our personal ascension. It is prayer. It is the best way you know, for us to go up you know, is by going first you know, through humility. That's why it's called descending to the top. As the Bible is telling us, he who humbles himself will be exalted. And he who exalts himself will be humbled. Who knows? Some people want to know about everything and everyone. These are people who are engrossed in the latest news, rumors, and gadgets. These are people who show that they are knowledgeable to impress other people. And then, there are people who seek to know God's will, which leads them to real service and real care. For them, it does not matter whether people know it or not. What matters is that God knows and that is enough. Who cares? There is so much apathy and indifference nowadays. We must continue to tell the world that we care. That in our own little way, we must make our world more peaceful, more livable, and more lovable. Let us take courage in this seemingly foolish and unachievable task from our Lord's ascension promise that he said, And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Remember that it is the way of the cross, not the way of comfort, that leads us to our real and personal resurrection and ascension. May this feast of the, solemn, the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord help us to keep knowing and to keep caring. Amen.